Hello and welcome to Computational Methods for Architectural Design. Today we're going to look at a surface modeling technique called blend surface. And this is useful in order to bridge two surfaces uh, together. Uh, so wh why don't we start by uh, making some forms. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a 8 by 8 box. And why don't we put a circle in the center of it. So we'll do a center and a void. Um, now you'll notice that I have uh, these guides which pop up. You can find these under Smart Track. Okay, so why don't we do um, a radius of three? Great. Now what we, what we want to do is let's let's offset this curve, and let's put a distance of 1 on there. And when we switch our view, I want to move this volume up by 4, or this curve up by 4, and then let's extrude this curve to make a surface. Um, and let's keep it as just a surface, so make sure that solid is no. And we'll extrude that to be 4. And let's, for this demonstration, create a planar surface here. So we go planar surface. Now what blend curves does is it's going to teach us um, how to join this surface to this surface. Now what's important is um, our profile here is smaller than this. So let me show you how that works. So if we type in under surface tools blend surface. Let's choose the bigger surface first to the smaller. Now what it does, as you see, is it has um, a way of joining these uh, through a curve. Let's take a look at a ghosted view and sort of see what this is happening here. So the first slider here represents one, the second represents two. So that's first curve, second curve. So when I move this, my first control points are moving and my second control points here are moving. Alright, let's put these back in the middle. Point one, point five, oh, sorry, one, and one. Now, let's look at how it's connecting. So this is a one-dimensional, or a, a single degree here with position. So it's a straight line between these two. If you do a, a tangent, it's, a, it's two. So here, and I can click on these to move them as well. The curvature is three dimensions. Now here, if I want to work with symmetry, if I hold shift and move it, it should move both of them. So if I'm pressing shift, see they're both moving at the same time. So this is a way of getting symmetry. I can also add a more complex curvature as I go down. So let's go back here to um, the, the, the both of them at curves, uh, curvature. And you'll see how there's a slight tapering here. So to avoid that, uh, you have to, these control points have to be outside of that center. So if we look at plan, for example, if this control point is inside of this radius, there's going to be a taper in the end. If it's outside, right, it looks like this. A 
Okay. Um, if you press Alt here, for example, on the bottom, if you press and hold Alt, you can change its plane and it will begin to twist. So if I extend this, then we can really begin to see it twisting. And once you're in a, a spot where you, you like it, um, you can press OK. To get an idea to, to look at how this object is going to appear, you can go to Surface. And I'm looking for uh, surface curvature. Ah, excuse me, it's in Analyze. Uh, surface curvature. Uh, let's do a, an environment map. And we select these objects. So now we can see um, if this surface were perfectly reflective, what it would look like. And remember, we have a twist occurring here. Okay. I hope you found this useful.